Hello everyone, I am back today with um, some more Scentsy Fall Winter catalog scents. Um, today we're going to talk about the holiday category. So these are kind of um, from all across the board. There's some woodsy, some spice, some fresh, uh, some fruity. So these are just scents that they put into a holiday category um yeah so they'll still show up in like other categories also but i figured i would just go category by category how they have them in the catalog um so this is another small section i think there's just 10 cents in here yeah and we'll just get right into it so the first one is I don't know where it's gonna focus. Let me see. How's that? Um, Be Merry is the first one. So I think this one was around last year. I don't know if it was around the year before that, but this one is Pine Boughs, Holly Leaf, and Cassis. Or Cassis. You guys know, I don't know how to say that word. Um, yeah, this one's really nice. Um, it does have that like tree vibe to it with the pine. Mm -hmm. This is just like your like classic holiday scent. It says holly leaf, but I feel like there is a berry in here. I don't know it is woodsy and again I kind of like this um, better this time than I have in the past so I may need to try this one again I may actually have some of that in my collection but I may need to try warming that again because it smells really good this time um, just very Christmas tree like okay the next one is Christmas Cottage and Christmas Cottage is Valencia oranges, raspberries, cloves, and spices. This is one that's been around for a long time, as long as I can remember. Mm, it's so nice. It's so cozy, spicy, comforting. Definitely is spicy though, so if you don't like spicy scents, I would not try this one. I don't really get raspberries from it. I do get like oranges, cloves, and spices like cinnamon, maybe some nutmeg. This kind of smells like those winter potpourri, like, um, what do they call it? Like when you simmer the spices and the orange peels on the stove. Yeah, that's what this smells like to me. So this is a very, again, classic winter Christmas blend. And if you like those kind of cozy, like primitive, spicy winter scents, give this one a try because it is, this is a very strong performer. Um, it's tried and true. And I think that, yeah, that's a bestseller. Um, okay, next one is Dancing Sugar Plums. This is Spiced Plum, Vanilla, and Cinnamon Apple. This is one that I actually didn't try last year when it came out. But it smells really good this year. <laughs> Definitely plum and apple. And yeah, there is some vanilla in there. I guess there's a little bit of spice. I don't get, it's not like overly cinnamony. But yeah, I think there is like a little bit in there. Mm, that's really nice. That's like a pretty, like a pretty fruity winter scent. Um, again, I may need to try this one this year because last year it just didn't really speak to me, but this year it's smelling really good, so. The next one is Perfect Peppermint. This is P. 
pure peppermint. <laughs> and this is really nice. Oh, I forgot to say dancing um, sugar plums is a best seller also. Yep, this is just pure peppermint. Um, Mm, that's really nice. I do feel like, I mean, it's very much a nose clearing peppermint, but I almost feel like I'm getting some kind of creaminess in here. It's definitely not like, um, super prominent creaminess, but I feel like there's just a bit of a vanilla or, mm. I don't know, but it, it's mostly just that like super cooling peppermint. Um, I do like this. I was really hoping that Candy Cane Wishes would make it into the catalog this year, but it's not in here. <laughs> so I'm hoping that they are planning to do like something with that for like later, closer to the holiday season. Um, but we'll see because that scent is so nice but anyway this is really good too i should probably pick up some of that because it's just like like it says it's a perfect peppermint scent um the next one polar bear hug this is blackberry jam brown sugar vanilla and amber so this used to be known as eskimo kiss um they changed the name to be you know more I don't know what word I'm looking for, but they're trying not to hurt people, I guess is the best way for me to say it. Um, I learned from this that Eskimo is um, kind of a derogatory term used to talk about like Inuit people um I've never known that so you learn something new every day and it's good to keep learning um and you know it's good to acknowledge what is harmful to other people and other cultures so I appreciate Sensi kind of you know taking action and changing flaws in their company. I think that's great. Um, anyway, this is now called Polar Bear Hug. And this is a scent that is pretty difficult to describe, I think. Because from the notes, blackberry jam, brown sugar, vanilla, and amber. I feel like when it says blackberry jam, brown sugar, vanilla, I feel like that's going to be like a very foodie like bakery gourmand type scent um, but this is in the fresh category and that's where it should be because this is not bakery or gourmand this is fresh you do get that blackberry but I wouldn't call it a blackberry jam I would just call it blackberry um, and then the brown sugar just gives it like a bit of a sweet depth rather than like an actual baked brown sugar um and like the vanilla is just you know vanilla it's just kind of bringing everything together and but you definitely get the amber and it's a very pretty amber sometimes amber can bother me but this one is just very pretty mm, this is such a nice scent it's not a super strong scent but it's a beautiful blend. Um, if you haven't tried this before, you should try it. It's very unique um, to Scentsy and I think it's a great scent. But like I said, it's not super strong and it's one that I would use in my bedroom um, for like a smaller space, but very beautiful scent. All right, the next one is Red Berry and Spruce. I'm glad this one came back because I had this in my club, but then I took it out um, just because I felt like, honestly, I don't know. I guess I felt like I didn't need it because it's the middle of summer, <laughs> but it's a very nice scent. It's 
well, let me tell you the notes. The notes are cranberry, raspberry, and blue spruce. Mm -mm -mm. I love this. Um, and they have this listed in the woodsy category. And that is where I would put this. This is slightly masculine leaning. I don't want to say it's cologne or like straight up masculine scent, but it is masculine leaning. If there were a cologne of this, it would be really nice. Um, you do get those like berry scents with the blue spruce. Yeah, I definitely get cranberry and blue spruce. That's a nice cranberry. It's not like a super deep, dark cranberry, but it's also not like a super bright cranberry. It's kind of in the middle. Um, yeah, I really like the scent. I will be picking up some more for this winter. I don't know if I have any in my collection right now, but I love that scent. Um, the next one is Snowberry. And Snowberry is Loganberry, Strawberry, Peppermint, and Cinnamon. So this one is also kind of unique. It's really something that I feel like I haven't smelled anywhere else. Um, it's like very basic notes. Well, I mean, Loganberry, you don't see that often, but I don't even know what a Loganberry smells like. This is really nice. You do get the peppermint, the cinnamon, this is not a spicy scent. They have it listed as a fruity scent, and that is, I agree with that. This is not a spicy scent. The cinnamon is like so deep and like in the background that I don't even think some people would pick up on it. Yeah, it's really those berries with peppermint, and it's not like a nose clearing peppermint, like the perfect peppermint. It's very much subdued by those berries. This is one that, again, is hard to describe because it's, um, I feel like it's very unique to Scentsy, um, but I know it's popular. It's not a bestseller, but I know this is one that keeps coming back because so many people love it. Um, I actually, I don't know that I've ever actually melted it. I think I've had it in like, scent circles. I may have had a room spray of it. I don't know. It is a very nice scent though. I may need to check my collection and see if I have any. And then if not, I'll probably pick up a clam of it because I do think that's a very unique blend. Um, okay. The next one, very merry cranberry. This is one that I've melted over and over. Um, this is a very bright cranberry. Um, the notes they have listed are winter berries and cedar so yeah this is a very bright cranberry to me and the cedar is in there my nose is starting i'm like going nose blind from all the from that peppermint <laughs> it's like getting harder to smell things um i still just smell peppermint but yeah, the cedar is in there. It's just not, it's not like a super strong cedar. Like there are scents that you smell that have cedar and you're like, oh yeah, cedar. Like cedar cider is one that I smell and it's like, that is definitely cedar and cider. But this one, it's more like that is definitely cranberry and then like something slightly woodsy <laughs> in the background very nice though this is a really nice scent i'm surprised this isn't a bestseller because this one does come back year after year after year but yeah it's a bright cranberry it's a really good cranberry though um it kind of reminds me of like i don't know there we used to have i don't know if they're still there but at ocean city maryland we go to sometimes, we go to different um, beaches, but we do go to Ocean City, Maryland. That's where we went a lot when I was growing up. And at the inlet, they had 
these tiny little stores and there was like a bear store where they sold teddy bears. Um, I don't think it's there anymore, but this scent reminds me of that store for some reason. It's kind of like a primitive, like if you go into a primitive store and they just have like things that smell like cranberry. <laughs> I don't know, I'm not describing this very well, but yeah, that's what it reminds me of. It's like a, a fresh, bright, primitive cranberry, if that makes any sense. Um, really good scent, good performer. If you haven't tried it and you like bright cranberry, you should try it. I would like to blend that with some things this year to give a little bit more depth to it, but we'll see how that goes. Um, the next one is Very Snowy Spruce. This is a bestseller. The notes are balsam, spruce, cedar branches, and pine cones. So obviously in the woodsy category. Mm, this is so nice. I Every year I go back and forth between do I like Very Snowy Spruce better or do I like Iced Pine better? And I still, I think I just like both of them and not one better than the other. Oh my goodness, this is so nice. Just all those tree scents combining. Mm -mm -mm. I love this. Um, I definitely get the cedar branches in here much more than I do in the very, very cranberry. Like this smells like cedar, but this smells like, oh, sorry guys, I dropped the lid. This smells like cedar that still has like the greens on it. Mm, I love this. It's so fresh and woodsy. Yeah, if you like tree scents, this is one that you need to try. It's definitely just like straight up tree scents. So if you don't like tree scents, obviously do not try this one. Um, but yeah, I love this. I love that cedar note in here. Definitely balsam. Really nice, really nice tree scent. Um, okay, and then just one more for this category. It is Winterberry Apple Tea. This is a bestseller and for good reason. I remember when this one came out and I was like, this is so good. This is something special. And it is, the notes are winter tea, cranberry, uh, cranberry, apple, and honey. So you do get the honey in here. Oh, my sticker is half off the bottom um you do get the honey in here sorry i'm just trying to fix this sticker quick <laughs> so if you don't like honey at all i would not try this one it is in there and i am very picky with honey scents because sometimes they're just too much they get in my throat they or just too much I just can't do them they're just too much of a thick sweet honey in here it is not that but it is there there is a honey note but this is definitely like a, again a tea that's like simmered on the stove with um, cranberries and apple I do feel like the cranberry in here is much deeper than the cranberry in Very Merry Cranberry. Mm, that apple is so nice. It's like a crisp apple with this deep cranberry and that tea note and like you just drizzled some honey into your cup. Oh my goodness, I love this. There are no spices listed in this, but I almost get a spice and I think it's coming from the winter tea I like what is winter tea I don't know but I feel like there's a spice in there like a cardamom or maybe even a cinnamon definitely like the slightest hint of a spice but this scent is so nice again this is a scent that I haven't smelled anywhere else um, I think it is very unique um and it's i 
personally, I feel like it's something that you can only get from Scentsy. Like, I don't feel like I could replicate this from somewhere else. Mmm, it's so good. And I actually, I don't think I melted any of this last year, now that I think about it. I think I took a break from it, but I'm going to get back into it this year because this is such a good scent and it's so strong and it has great longevity. It will last for days if you want it to. Um, so this is a bestseller and like I said, for good reason, this is an amazing scent. If you haven't tried it yet and you like those like deep berry tea scents, give this one a try. It's amazing. I feel like you won't be disappointed. Um, so that, oh, now the bottom is sticky. <laughs> uh, anyway, that is the holiday category. Sorry, I just realized I have them like super low. Okay. Um, that is the holiday category. Let me see if I can get a little bit closer to them maybe and like I said these scents will also be in other categories this is just um they just kind of bundle these together into the holiday category I don't really know why but they do um it says get in a merry mood with these hand-picked holiday scents um so these are all really great scents um like I said if I had to pick a six pack from here, I guess we'll do a six pack for every category. If I had to pick a six pack from here, it would be Winterberry Apple Tea. Um, let's say Redberry and Spruce. So Winterberry Apple Tea, Redberry and Spruce. Christmas Cottage is just such a classic, so I would grab one of those. Um, very Snowy Spruce so good and what is that four so i would say polar bear hug it's just such a unique scent um and then guys i don't know because i feel like i really want to try all of these again this year but i would probably add in perfect peppermint just because that is you know the perfect peppermint scent i like to have peppermint on hand um really all year but especially in the winter months so that would be my six pack winterberry apple tea red berry and spruce christmas cottage very snowy spruce polar bear hug and perfect peppermint um let me know if you've tried any of these and what your favorites are from the holiday category the next one we'll do is spice so um, maybe tomorrow I can get the spice category done. That is, it says it includes notes like cinnamon, cardamom, and black pepper. Um, and again, some of them we've talked about because, well, I think only maybe two of them we've, well, no, three. So, so yeah, some of them we've talked about because they were either in this category or in the new releases category. Um, so I'll just like quickly go over those when we get to them. But anyway, here I am rambling again. Let me know if any of these are your favorites and which ones you want to try. And thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you all later. Bye.